Ah yes, Google Chrome versus Microsoft Edge, the battle of the ages. I'm sure most of you know that Google Chrome is probably the most popular browser out there at the moment, but that has not stopped Microsoft from creating their own browser in-house, obviously for Windows in the form of Edge. Now, despite all the memes, Microsoft Edge is not even really that bad of a browser. It's infinitely better than what Internet Explorer used to be. However, Microsoft has finally caved and announced recently that they will be redeveloping a new version of Microsoft Edge based on the Chromium browser. Now, if you're not aware, the Chromium project is actually an open source browser project for the development of the Chromium browser, which is not the same as Google Chrome. We'll get to that in a second. And the Chromium project was originally started by Google and is actually what Google Chrome is based off of. And because it's open source, what that means is that Google and any other community developers around the world can contribute to the Chromium project and therefore the Chromium browser to increase its functionality, bug fixes, all that sort of thing. So the Chromium browser is separate from Google Chrome. You could just go out and download the Chromium browser if you want and install it on Windows or whatever operating system you're using, not the one that's developed by Google. Now they are very, very similar obviously, but Google Chrome, because it's separately developed by Google, has some additional features on top of Chromium that are not available in Chromium. And obviously, if you haven't figured this out, Google Chrome gets its name from Chromium. So you can think of Chromium as like the base version of a browser, and then you can build on top of it. So because it's open source, any company can come along and build on top of it, make their own browser based on this open source software and kind of brand it, make it their own, add their own features that they want to. it. And one example you may have heard me talk about in the past is the Brave browser that is also based on Chromium. And now we know that Microsoft is actually going to be changing Edge to start developing it based on Chromium. And that also means they're gonna be contributing to the Chromium project themselves. And we can talk about why they're doing all this in a little bit. And I should point out that yes, the Chromium Edge browser is available to download right now. It's still in pre-release. It doesn't even have a beta version out right now. They're gonna be three different channels. So you can go on the download website and you'll have the options for right now, the developer or canary version. The beta version is coming soon, it says, and that'll be an update every six weeks or so. So that'll be the most stable of the development versions. And then the developer version will be weekly, then canary will be daily. And if you're not aware, these are the same channels that are also available for Google Chrome. They have the same beta and developer channels that you can get, so you can get the features right as they come out if you get a like a developer or canary version, or if you want something that's a little more stable, but still has newer features, then you can go to the beta channel. So it's the same idea with Edge. But again, there is no stable official version of the Edge Chromium browser yet. It's still in development. And like I said, there's not even a beta channel yet. And right now, what they're calling this is the Microsoft Edge Insider browser. So if you don't know, Windows Insider is like the preview versions of Windows you can download. So the Insider Edge browser is just like the preview version of the browser. So if you do go to download it, what's it like using? Well, not surprisingly, it really does seem like a hybrid between the current version of Edge and Google Chrome. When you go to the settings pages, they look very similar. So you have most of the same options. One of the main differences you'll notice is that when you go to log into the browser, you log in with a Microsoft account instead of a Google account. So then you'll be able to store your bookmarks and stuff and sync it with the web that way. Also interestingly, but not really surprising, is like Google Chrome, which has the flags menu, you now have the same set of flags options in the hidden menu, but it's called edge colon slash slash flags. So that's pretty neat. All in all though, I really expect this is probably gonna be very, very similar to Google Chrome, obviously, but it'll be interesting to see what kind of features that are exclusive that Microsoft adds on that might not be available in Chrome. Now you might be wondering, what's the point of this? If Microsoft already has their Edge browser, why would they go through the development of this new one based on Chromium? And their reasoning is that it will be better for compatibility in several different aspects. First of all, if they do make Edge based on Chromium, that will basically mean that pretty much everyone on the web, or at least a vast, vast majority, will be using a type of Chromium-based web browser. So that'll combine Google Chrome and then Edge and like even Brave Browser. Most web browsers will be based on Chromium. So that will make it a lot easier for web developers to create websites that are compatible with most browsers 
because if they make it compatible with one Chrome browser, it'll be compatible with pretty much all of them then, instead of having to try and make one for Chrome, one for Edge, and all that sort of thing. So after this is implemented, no matter what browser you're using, then every website should work correctly if it's gonna work on any of them. Also, because Microsoft themselves are gonna be starting to contribute to the Chromium project, that means that all Chromium-based web browsers will be better integrated with Windows and have better compatibility. And obviously not that Chromium browsers aren't compatible with Windows, but say for example, a big bug comes up or something on Windows, then because Microsoft developers are gonna be a lot more familiar with Windows, obviously, because they work for Microsoft, they can probably fix things a lot easier than if it was just random developers around the world trying to make it compatible with Windows. Another interesting consequence of this is because Chromium is a lot more compatible with many different operating systems and platforms, that will then mean that Edge will likely be usable on things like Mac OS or Linux or even ARM platforms like on Raspberry Pi. So we'll probably be able to get Edge on whatever operating system you want if you do want that. Now, one of the biggest benefits that will become of this transition for users at least is all the extensions that will become available for use with Edge because it's based on Chromium. So you might know that Google Chrome obviously has like tens of thousands of extensions. You can pretty much get it to do whatever you want However, Microsoft Edge, even though it technically does support extensions, there are not that many. I think there's like 235 extensions total on Edge, so really not that many. As a side note, I did make a video talking about some cool extensions for Google Chrome. I'll have that pop out if you wanna check that out. So with this upcoming Chromium-based version of Edge, theoretically, pretty much all the same extensions that were for Chrome or whatever will also work on Edge. And actually, if you do go to the Chrome Web Store, on the Microsoft Edge new one, it'll actually ask you if you want to allow extensions from the Chrome Web Store to be installed on Edge. So you can already pretty much install whatever you want on there. Interestingly, Microsoft does have their own page for Edge extensions based on Chromium, but there's not that many on there. So I don't know what the difference is. Maybe they just wanna maintain their own list of extensions that are guaranteed to be compatible. I don't know if every single one in the Chrome Web Store is compatible. So we'll just have to see about that. In any case, you might be wondering when are we going to see this new version of Edge roll out finally and completely? And really it's hard to say. This was first announced back in December of 2018. And at the time they said they'd be developing this over the course of the next year or so. So I would not be surprised if it took at least a year, maybe like the beginning of 2020, it is like the earliest I think we would possibly see this roll out by default, but I really don't think Microsoft is trying to rush this out. So who knows, it might be late 2020 or even later. Still, like I've said several times, the good news is that if you want it right now, you can get it right now. It might not be the most stable version because it is still only developer or beta possibly. So if you do want to check it out, I'll put the link in the description so you can see, I think it's like MicrosoftEdgeInsider.com or something like that and you can check it out. I would like to know what you guys think. Have you tried out this browser? Are you gonna maybe start using it because you don't trust Google or something like that? Have you been using ext extensions on it? Does it work well? Let us know down in the comments. If you wanna keep watching, I'll put some other videos right here you can just click on. If you wanna subscribe, I make a couple new videos a week, so it should be worth it. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.